G'day, g'day and welcome. My name's Jim and today I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of lines on your 3D prints. So first thing you want to do is take off all the crap, uh, any bits of uh, support or anything like that. Uh, any rough bits uh, that, you know, have got little dags and stuff hanging on them. Give them a hit with a sander and any hairs or anything like that. Burn them off with a jet lighter and after it's nice and cleaned up then you can just use some UV mm, UV setting resin so just going to pour some pour some resin into there and then I'm going to put the lid on it because otherwise I'll knock it over and spill the shit everywhere I'm going to crappy old brush Right, and we're just going to paint this on. I might get a bigger brush actually, because this is a bigger piece. Bigger, crappy old brush. So we're just going to paint this on, and it's going to fill up the lines. Try not to make it run everywhere and everything like that and try not to fill up all of your details crevices and stuff like that you might need to just go back over them and wipe out any pooling of resin it's hard to see what's going on here because the resin is clear so i probably should have got like a colored resin i will next time it's going to paint the whole lot as much as i can before i run out of finger space Use a pair of pliers to hold him. As you can see, I'm not being like extraordinarily gentle or anything. If you're going to do tiny, tiny little models, then big V8. If you're going to do tiny, tiny little models, then you probably want to be a little bit careful. Uh. And usually, when I put this on, I put it on against the grain, so. The uh, resin goes inside the lines. This really sort of only works when you're brushing it on too. It doesn't really work if you try spraying it on. And like these details, I'll go back over them and clear out any pools. And there we go. It's all got one coat on it now. Get out my blue light cover up my resin so it doesn't get hit give this a bash and it'll just instantly dry right and then you might have to give you a bit of a wash in some uh, isopropic alcohol uh, so it's not so um, sticky still give this a bit of a spray with some isopropic alcohol which just managed to squirt into my eyes so good Now, you might have to give this a hit with a primer or an undercoat because not all model paint will stick to that resin. So, this seems to work all right. I'll give it one coat with this and then um, it's good to use model paint on. Okay, so there you go. There is the difference between one coat and no coats. It's got no coats on it, just about three coats of paint. And that's got one coat of resin on it. So that's how much difference it makes. Pretty cool, eh? And if you do two coats, it'll totally get rid of it, especially with like some bits like down here and stuff. Like on these really high ledges and stuff, you might have to do two coats. So 
Oops, still a bit wet there. Yuck. Good trick. <laughs> All right. So, um, and this is why you want to clean up your print really well. Like, you're not going to really see this much because it's going to be underneath all that, but yeah, not too late to give it a hit now. I can still grab a bit of um, paper and um, clean it up some more. So, but I'm going to have to wait for this to dry a bit though. She's still a little sticky. So do that, rub it down, clean it up, get it looking nice, spray it again. And then put all your model together and everything and um, yeah, spraying. See what I mean? That bit didn't, that paint didn't stick just there. So you gotta wash them really well. Sometimes you might have to even give them a little bit of a sand just to take the greasy bit off the top. Right, I'll do that, hit it again, that should be all right. Yeah, paint doesn't like to stick to some of this stuff, especially if it's not dry properly. So, but anyway, there you go. That'll give you as a helping hand anyway. All right, so you'll be good. Stay safe and, um, We'll see you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao. Well, there you go. Hope you liked the video. I have three other channels. You can find them in the descriptions below. Feel free to check them out. Plenty of stuff to watch. I want to thank my Patreons, Mitch, Jackson and Blake, Legend Boys. If you want to be a legend too, head over to Patreon for exclusive videos and talk to me live. Or if you're broke like me, I get $1 for every thousand videos watched. So next time you go out, put on one of my playlists for your dog or your cat or maybe even your goldfish might want to watch. So until next time, Time, you'll be good, stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Play the music! Ugh. Techno, techno.